Hello, Fan Meisters, and Meister here. And me. What do you want now? And it's really great to have you joining us on this video. It most certainly is. Wow, Willie, you look all fancy. What's the occasion? I got a date with Abigail tonight. That's all. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I always dreamed of being with her father. I'm quite a dreamer. Just like the boy in the Bible. There's a Willie in the Bible too? No. Joseph. I thought Joseph was the guy that was with Mary when Jesus was born. Oh, that was way before Jesus was born. Really? Uh-huh. Tell me more. Alright. Many years ago, there was a man named Joseph and he had 12 sons. Wow. Talk about Jesus like a dozen. <laughs> And they lived in a hot and sunny land named Canaan. Jacob had a favorite son named Joseph, who was a dreamer. Just like me. Yep. And Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, you could say something like that. On Joseph's birthday, Jacob gave him a special present. A million dollars! No. A new car? Cars didn't exist back then. It's not the flu, is it? <laughs> no. It was a colorful coat. Oh. Did it have red and yellow and green and brown and scarlet and black and ochre and peach and ruby and olive and violet and thorn and lilac and gold and chocolate and mold and green and crimson and silver and rose and azure and lemon and russet and gray and purple and white and pink and orange and blue? Yes, it does. Well, that's good, because someday your tongue's going to get sprained. And the brothers grew jealous of him. Ooh, snap! Ever since then, Joseph had some wonderful dreams. First, the brothers' sheaves of wheat bowing to his. And second, that Joseph was on the mountaintop yawning. Actually, the sun, moon, and stars were bowing down before him. The brothers heard about his dream, and they got so mad, they sold Joseph to some merchants who were heading to Egypt. Oh, that's not right. Of course not. They sold their brother. They did. That's messed out. Sure is. How much did he sell him for? Twenty pieces of silver. What, no gold? Anyways, they even covered his coat in the blood of a goat. Say that five times fast. And convinced Jacob that Joseph was killed by a wild animal. Why not Joseph? He was serving a man named Potiphar, who was captain of the Pharaoh's bodyguards. Wait, was Potiphar the guy that married to a lady that tried to kiss Joseph? Yes. She's a dirty liar. Uh-huh. Just like Delilah. That's another story. Oh yeah, we already did that one. <laughs> she lied to Potiphar that Joseph attacked her and had him put in jail with two men. And they are? The butler and the baker. What happened to the candlestick maker? Anyways, the butler told Joseph his dream. He dreamed he picked grapes and made them into wine that Pharaoh drank. Joseph told him that he will be restored to 
his former job. And want another baker? Oh, the baker told him he dreamed he was carrying baskets filled with pastries and pies to the pharaoh until the birds flew down and ate them. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's so bad, Joseph told him that the baker's head will be chopped off. I was actually referring to the birds getting fat from all those goodies. At least the stories, at least the dreams were true. Stories? That's a story within a story. <laughs> At least the dreams were true. And what happens next? Well, Pharaoh had a dream. He dreamed of seven fat cows coming out of the water. What are they thinking? <laughs> they were eating grass by the bank. But then seven thin cows came and ate the fat cows. Yikes! They should have moved away from them. <laughs> Pharaoh wondered what his dream means. The butler told him about Joseph and sent the guards to bring him there. That's when Pharaoh told him about the dream, right? Right. Then Joseph told him that the, the cows in his dreams were years. That there will be seven years of plenty with lots of food to eat. A Bible style all you can eat the thing? Mmm. But then he told them that there will be seven lean years and there will be nothing left to eat. That's when Pharaoh will start having a cow until a thin cow eats that up too. No. It just means Pharaoh must find a wise man to work for him during the seven years of plenty. And with that, the wise man he chose was Joseph. Cool. I bet Joseph's brothers are even more jealous of it now. <laughs> well, they did not save any food and, doesn't, and don't have enough to eat. Jacob sent them to Egypt to buy some food. Isn't Joseph there though? Yes. But they don't know it. So he decided to trick them. Oh, I like where this is going. He made the brothers scared of him, saying that they are spies. He then told them to bring him his younger brother, Benjamin. Then they got some good mm -mm. Yes, they got food. But Joseph placed his golden cup in Benjamin's sack. Oh yeah, ping back. The brothers were about to head home when suddenly Joseph stabbed them and announced that Benjamin stole his cup and punished him to death. Don't you think he went a little too far? Well, yeah, but the brothers asked Joseph to take them instead. Joseph decided to finally tell them, Ain't for fools, I got you good. <laughs> He did not say April Fools, but they still fell for it. Joseph hugged them, and to their surprise, they recognized him. At last, a family reunion. Yep. He sent his brothers to tell Jacob that Joseph is still alive, and they now live close by him where he will make sure that they had enough to eat during the lean years. Now that was a great story. It sure is. But I still find it too scary. Well, it ain't. In Genesis 37.3, it says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons, because he had been born to him in his old age, 
and he made an ornate robe for him. Did you say ornate or orange? Ornate. Well, orange we a team, puppet boy. <laughs> Oh man! Talk about sore eyes and a runny nose. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Ciao! Okay, now help me find my face. All right, Willie. <laughs> It most certainly is. There's a cat meowing. Oh, that's nice. Did you just fart? Ugh, you stink. Oh, well, that's nice. What was that? What was what? There was a hair attached to your hat. Okay then, moving on. That sounds like fun. I know. And there goes the cat again. Canaan. Canaan. Cannonball. And there's that cat again. We'll never get this done. I know, I'm a dreamer. Just like Joseph. What's with you?